Our top story, the Haryana government has decided to usher in the new year with one of the biggest pushes for solar power in the country. The state has made it mandatory for all buildings on plot size of 500 square yards or more to install rooftop solar power systems by September 2015. That's just nine months from now. This pretty much covers the majority of well-to-do homes and commercial buildings in Haryana. Oinitam examines how successful will this move be. Own a house or a building in a plot size of 500 square yards or more in Haryana? Get ready to invest in rooftop solar panels. The state government has made it mandatory for all villas, private apartments and commercial and institutional complexes to install solar energy panels by September this year. Failure in compliance would attract penalties between 10,000 rupees to 10 lakh rupees. The rooftop policy is an ideal policy. Uh, it allows decentralized generation and consumption of electricity, uh, which means that actually we are in many ways democratizing energy. You know, uh, as a consumer, I can, I can produce my own energy and I can consume my own energy. Under the new policy, the minimum solar power capacity to be installed on a residential unit of a plot size of over 500 square yards is 1 kilowatt of 5% of a building's connected load, whichever is higher. This is estimated to cost about 2 to 4 lakh rupees. Government will offer a 15% subsidy on installation cost, which will be given either as capital subsidy to be deposited directly to the beneficiary's Aadhaar linked account or in the form of interest subvention. A 1 kilowatt plant can generate up to 4.5 units of electricity a day, enough to power three fans, seven tube lights and a cooler for four to five hours, according to Haryana government estimates. But not everyone is convinced. I think there are two key challenges. One is uh, residents living for 10 years, 15 years will also have to come out with an investment to install this. That will be a challenge for some people. And second will be that, uh, what is the effectiveness of these devices? Will they really generate the kind of electricity which the government is looking at? What I feel is uh, smaller plot size in and individual uh, house owners which are going to construct their plots, they would definitely have a little challenge because the cost is one thing which will be a little deterrent for that to be a little more smoother for individuals if government can add on a more subsidy I think an individual plot owner who is owing a plot of 500 square yard or maybe 1000 square yard or 700, for them it will be little easy because cost recovery would reduce over a period of time. While the central and state governments are betting big on solar energy, there are some concerns too. As more and more people start installing a solar power on their rooftops, your grids will have to become more smart and more resilient. So there will be a lot of investment required in making the grid solar ready. The state government will create a separate green energy fund to help finance its target of increasing solar power generation capacity to 1,300 megawatt by 2022 as against the present installed capacity of only about 8 megawatt. So the energy mantra is harness the sun, generate your own electricity and reduce your power bills. In New Delhi, Oinitam Oja, NDTV. Absolutely a great and a positive step when it comes to the principle of solar. But how feasible is it? September 2015 is not too far away. There are experts in the studio with me who say, why push the date out to September 2015? And the others who are asking this big question on how do people finance it? So many, many questions to ask. And for the answers, we have Manu Rishipuri, Principal Resource Group, Accenture Services. Also with me here, Gaurav Mittal, Managing Director, CSG Developers. All right, Gaurav, so let's begin with you. You're building homes. You've been building, you know, buildings, commercial and residential. What do you think? It's, it's a good move, isn't it? I think I welcome the uh, move by the Haryana government to push it. I mean, uh, we are in a country, at least the government is pushing for good. I mean, it is for a good reason. Okay. We are going to uh, reduce the carbon footprint. Uh, okay. Now, how feasible is it? I believe that it was already mandatory for commercial buildings to have solar panels. Uh, is this now a question of making it mandatory for not just high-rise buildings which developers are making, but even 
single homes, 500 square yard, I think all of Gurgaon is covered. Nobody has land or plots lower than 500 square yards, sure. isn't it? Sure, I mean for us it is mandatory. I mean we get occupational certificate after we fulfill the norms. Even for residential? For residential group housing. Okay. And uh, now for 500 square yards, I mean uh, as an as a organization, we can do so much more to actually go ahead and implement it. Mm -hmm. But just think from a point of view of an individual homeowner. Homeowner, yes. I mean, uh, you know, he has to design his house completely. You look at that surface area where he would actually implement and install that solar panels. Right. Whether right. he has it with him or he does he need to rechange everything, hmm. which might take some time. Hmm. But here, I think, uh, you know, my customers, they is, don't. Is it a challenge? For him to be able to refigure his terrace, uh, what do you think, Manu? I mean, it, mm -hmm. let's just talk about, so so I understand the developers have been doing it and they probably will now do it even with a better eye and, and look at some other options like how do you create smart grids, which is something that you can speak about. But individual homeowners, how challenging will it be and uh, will there be a resistance from them? Look, as I understand, Manisha, the requirement is uh, a minimum one kilowatt per 500 square yard. One right. kilowatt takes a space of 10 by 10 square feet maximum and depending on the panel size you take. You can take a 80 watt panel, you can take a 250 watt panel mm -hmm. and that's about it. So if somebody has a flat roof, even a slanting roof which faces the east or west, mm -hmm. implementation per se is not a challenge. It's not a challenge. Not a so challenge. if you have a terrace, you can do it. Yes. That's I think mm -hmm. let's establish that. Yes, you have a terrace, mm -hmm. you can do it. So nobody should say, oh my God, I don't have space. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the other challenge then? What do you see? So challenges is the main challenge for solar has been, uh, even for an independent industry, has been the financing part. It's an mm -hmm. upfront finance investment. Say, and how much will it cost? The one that you varies between 1.2 to 1.5 lakhs okay. per kilowatt, mm -hmm. and that that is everything. That includes the energy storage, which is the batteries, includes the panels, includes the wiring. So that and the payback time is about six years, five to six years? Five to six years, depending on what your tariff is. So All commercial right. would be faster, residential would be slower. Okay. Uh -huh. So depending on that, the payback time is the challenge is how is anybody willing to shell out that 1.2 to 1.5 lakhs upfront hmm. for that money? So the financing part comes What in. about the availability of solar panels? You keep reading mm -hmm. in newspapers that probably, you know, people are going out there and buying products from China, which isn't a great idea anyway, because these solar panels are being dumped in the country. Maybe, do we have a capacity issue on the production of solar? Because central government has actually said that the capacity augmentation is a necessity. So as far as the solar panels for Haryana is concerned, there is enough capacity within the country to produce that solar, yes. At that price that people want, say if it's 40, 45 rupees per watt, mm. uh, is a price for an Indian and depends on which brand you go for. Right. It may drop by 50% to a Chinese one. Okay. So if somebody just want to comply, he may go for a Chinese one. Somebody really wants to get the value out of it, is he it, may is want it to go Is it a good idea to go for Chinese solar uh, panels or, or, I mean, how do you do your buying? See, uh, doesn't... Uh, for me, I think it has to be something that can be sustainable for a long term. All right. In China also you get good products. Mm -hmm. I mean, we but do they come with warranty that the Indian they products do? They definitely do not come with warranty. They At least we do not go for Chinese products. Okay. I feel very comfortable putting in a, a product which takes care of the maintenance as well. Okay. And a person to hold on to saying hmm. that this is not working and right. this is how it should be made to work. And they are half the price. So it's a big temptation, Manu, right. isn't it, I to mean, actually go in for the cheaper product? Definitely it is half the price. But hmm. then if I do not run it, if I, you know, shut it for uh, after a year, hmm. it stops working. Then it doesn't matter, right? I mean, yeah. I have to, again, spend that capital investment on it. What about, I mean, you know, isn't this something similar to rainwater harvesting where you actually are turning around and saying that... Uh, uh, okay, it's mandatory, but then two years later you go down and see the systems are not even working. How are you going to monitor no, that, Manu? I would not say rainwater harvesting and solar go hand ah. in hand. No, so I'm, just, solar, I'm just taking an example hmm. in India. You know, things so in, are implemented hmm. and people do them, but then there is no follow through and things don't work. So is that a danger as well because for solar? Because what you're doing, rainwater harvesting does not impact you, your television time, does yeah, not impact your absolutely. refrigeration or air conditioning time. So if, if you, 50% of your cost is solar panel, 50% is balance of plant, hmm. which is your wiring, your inverter, your smart box, your batteries. So that you still have to take from a, an Indian player. 
50% of the cost goes up by double, which is 25% of the total cost. Mm -hmm. Right. So if you spend that much more, you get the value. And solar panels go on for life. So they say 25 years is a life. Okay. So 25, 30 years they go on and zero maintenance. You just have to wash them once a month and the dust goes off and it works fine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the smart grid that he was talking about, Gaurav? So, okay, yes, you've got so many houses, everyone has to have a solar panel, but then there needs to be a smart grid connecting everybody. There'll be buildings which are producing excess, which can then be passed on. Do you think it's a futuristic idea? Let's just begin with first having a solar panel in every house as the government has I, looked I think, at it. I think one step at a time. Hmm. Uh, although there, you know, the possibilities are enormous. Okay. With solar, it is free energy that you're getting from the sun. Hmm. But um, I think there needs to be first an awareness in the market that now the government is pushing it. Mm. There needs to be a time when there is a pull factor which is coming into it. People right. are getting aware through your medium, through uh, you know social uh, programs like Satyam Ev Jayate and other programs wherein you know you are uh, you are uh, educating people of the uses okay. and also a, a person should know the true value that they are getting out of that product. Mm. And you know, I'm just wondering that in this country, you still don't have simple things like ban on plastic usage, which is a huge thing for carbon mm -hmm. footprint, right. the separation of wet and dry waste, mm -hmm. and then obviously composting wet waste and food waste, and then actually taking the rest of it separately, not creating huge waste dumps. So, so solar, I'm not saying that those should come before, but, but it is a great start and the rest of it should follow, isn't it, Manu? Right, so it, it is a great start. So if you take the example of similar geog uh, geographies, so Germany, huh. to take example, Germany 2007, the moment the mandate came, 2006-07, the solar implementation rooftop doubled on a year-to-year -year basis, which is still happening. 2011 were 25,000 25, megawatts, today is 40,000 megawatts. And they don't even get as much sun as we do. Right. We get so much more sun than <laughs> Germany. <laughs> so it started with a mandate and mm. then the market caught on and then the subsidy was withdrawn. Now it is so viable that everybody just goes for it. The mm. first option for electricity is solar in Germany. Similarly in California, which is similar to India's weather. Okay, okay, good idea. But one one thing that I would like to ask you, is it, you know, subsidy is now 30%, that is what the government was offering. And that is what Haryana government has said, first come, first serve, up to, uh, you know, uh, September 2015, we will do it. But is subsidies the way, do you think that, how many years should the government actually withdraw the subsidies? I think uh, subsidy is a good thing to start with. Mm. I mean, obviously, there's a carrot that, you know, you will get something, something in, yeah. you know. You up, just feel more motivated to go that way, exactly. isn't it? But it is not sustainable for a long term. How, much, I mean, how, how many years did Germany take to actually withdraw subsidies? To about a couple of years. They, they withdrew and now it is because the scale is so huge, you hmm. don't need the subsidy. You don't. So, we, you think in India we'll reach that in the next three to four years if more states in implement fact, this? On the larger scale, you have already started touching diesel. On, if you talk diesel, uh, as the solar beats it hands down. Hmm. So hmm. solar is what, 8 to 9 rupees, worst case, lowest went to 5.5 rupees hmm. per unit. So solar beats that. But yes, on a grid parity, thermal is still at 3 rupees, 2.5 to 3 rupees. Hmm. So that, but that is slowly coming up because coal costs are going up. Uh, so all that grid parity on solar will come in the next two to three years. All right. So you may not need the subsidy. So it's great that both the energy expert and the <laughs> developer expert is saying that it's a great step and of course that's the way to go. Gaurav and Manu, thank you very much for joining me on this discussion. So solar it is and uh, we're not complaining at all. In fact, we've been vouching for and fighting for a lot more green actions in daily living and uh, we will continue to do so. And after solar, why not plastic is my big question.